Hey guys, and welcome to episode 11 of Presto is Massive, Season 6. Wait, is it episode 12? Probably it's episode 12. Yeah, it's episode 12. Ugh. I'm recording this already in the morning, because yesterday... Uh, well, yesterday my family went to a water park. Queen Valley Beach. We were already went on Wednesday. But brother, my brother and his wife wanted to go back, so Tyler was dragged along because he didn't really have much of a choice. Well, it was all right. Had a little fun, but hopefully we don't go back for another couple of weeks because that was just too soon to go back. Wednesday, Saturday, go back. Come on, it's too soon. Give us some time to recover. Not to mention the sun bonds. I have a blister on my neck here that is kind of touch with at times. They're making breakfast in there, in case you're wondering. But anyways. When we got home yesterday, I just was not in the mood to record this. I didn't have the energy for it, and... I just didn't want to. I downloaded the episode, but... I waited till now to watch it. So I am feeling better. I have more energy. Still when I just woke up, but... Yeah. This episode is called Bites Up Your Life. For some reason I thought that was a size of life. The episode, but... I don't think it is. I saw a thumbnail and apparently it's a wording and Pinky episode. Huh. Excuse me. Have we ever had an episode where Rarity and Pinkie Pie were the main focus characters? I don't know. Math didn't need to lie. Anyways. <clears throat> Uh, mouth still a little dry. Anyways. Spice up your life. What to that title to say is? I don't know. From what I got from the thumbnail, Wordy and Pinky are flying to help two ponies. My dad just helped them we decorate their home, the face of business. I don't know. So let's we start talking and we'll get to it. Sorry if this is a little bit boring, but I just woke up and ugh, I don't know. I think I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> I'm gonna get hate Tom for that. I said hit play. As you've all probably noticed, it's been quite some time since the map has sent us on a mission of friendship. Oh. Yeah, ever since Starling messed with it to go back in time and try to change history. Yes, since then. But as no fish taken. <laughs> and together we think we've come up with a spell that will get it working again. Ah, so bring the map back. Now, without further ado. Those two are using magic together. Oh, do I just be in a warm hole? Oh, nope, you got it. That's an easy way to avoid. Twilight and Twilight. That was an odd witch. This is wonderful. I can check the boutique. Perhaps there'll be some social events that we can attend. I'll have to pack an extra outfit. What will I wear? Will Starlight go on an adventure? No. I don't think it's possible for Starlight to be taught by the map because she doesn't have a phone with a tuning mod that activates the map. 
But who knows, I could be wrong. It'd be funny if the map is totally glitched out now. They're not supposed to be here, but they think so because of the map. I hope I'm not finding something down with something. I'm sorry, but I think it's just going to the beauty. Oh, hey, I know that pony. The white male that was with Celestia and the seated free opener. The secretary. Free health rating. Oh! You're gonna help with a restaurant! Good luck. No, seriously, good luck. Restaurant is a hard business. And I know she's supposed to um, invite the help. I don't know his name, but I'll put it in, in the cases or something, right? Now. Yeah, bring him the help. <laughs> Do people really eat this type of food? Seriously. Does somebody tell me, is that really a male people sword? Oh my god! Pop up, up, get away! Whatever this is, can we try someplace else? That pony is evil. <laughs> yeah. Retarded! Maybe one more stop? Oh my god, they're all retarded! <sighs> oh, the food critic is a bias! Whoever he or she is, I feel a certain way. And when the rest of the world doesn't serve that food, they don't get a good store. I mean, it doesn't mean those three restaurants want so it doesn't really think those three restaurants serve the same exact food and have the same exact waiters. But the same exact food suggests something not good. Oh god. Assassin's Creed vibes. Oh, hello. Are you here for lunch? Yes, indeed. I'm Saffron Masala, the chef here at the Tasty Treat. The most You're a genie, aren't you? From Aladdin. About the specials? We're actually in a bit of a hurry. Yes, please. We have a curried oat cake. We'll take one. Uh, and a glass sandwich that has been marinated overnight in a mustard Dijon dressing. That's too much. Say no to that. Uh, and for you? Oh, me? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. No raking. Oh, Pink, no worry. Anyway, anyway, they won't. Hiya, what's your name? Coriander Cumin. Are you a chef here too? Cumin? Water cooks. I host. Then why are you stacking chairs? Without customers, I have no pony to host for. So, I stack. Father, stop it. Don't close up the restaurant around our guests. What does it matter? When they leave, no pony else will be coming in. Well, your attitude isn't going to bring anyone in. Can't you at least pretend to be positive? <laughs> so good! You are doing enough pretending for the both of us. No pony here wants to try anything new. I know when to throw in the towel. Perhaps we should excuse ourselves. Oh, oh, really Pity face her that isn't she? Oh, hey, we would yes, we played that. You would listen to my ideas for once. Oh yes! I did not move halfway across Equestria for my daughter that I never listened to. Rarity, I think that friendship problem just clammed us right between the eyes. These two? Never... Oh, I don't know, darling. The food is excellent, but I'm not sure there's much you and I can do to help them. What would you have done? We can't even get Zesty Gourmand to... I was thinking sorry, but I'll mention it later. Look at how empty it was, and said it wasn't even worth the rating. I'm gonna write it down right here. Uh, 
Remember to mention the map. There we go. That should be good. And how do you intend to do such a thing? Just leave it to us. Not going in a well. Father, will you please stop packing things? Then the lovely pony comes back. And since she couldn't convince Zesty Gourmand to come visit us, we will need to pack all this up. I'm just getting a head start. You really don't know Mary. I bet! See? It took all of my charm and cajoling, but I was able to convince Zesty Gourmand to come and try the food. What is the catch? Ah, uh, yes. Well, um, there is a bit of a challenge. The only time she can make herself available is tonight. Oh, yeah, right. What is it? Zesty rates a restaurant on cuisine, decor, and presentation. And she has very specific tastes. If she's coming tonight, there is quite a bit of work. Specific tastes, huh? Like what? Okay, that should not be a food trait. A food trait has to be somebody that is not biased or petty. They have to be open. They have to judge the food on its own merits. If they only go... If they only give their ratings for the food they want, then they are not food critics. The people are using that title to get free food. Coriander, I understand your trepidation, but I promise you we will get those hooks by making this place feel just like all of the other restaurants on Restaurant Row. No! Don't do that! If you don't do that, you're gonna fail! Well, now you fall on the pad, but what a fail, because, yeah, who's a biased food critic? Oh, if you don't show up what I want, zero. Now get out. Uh. Where are these on? Oh, God. No! My daughter will already know! What are you doing? Rudy, I did it! I know what I know you're fancy and all that, but no! Oh, thank you, something. Oh, two freaking the opinions! Brody wants to do it one way, but Pinky wants to do it the other way. God, <sighs> oh, no! No, that's even worse! No! No, no, Willie! I'm sorry with Pinky! Oh, hey! Anyway, I am sorry with Pinkie Pie here. Yeah, I'm 100% with Pinkie Pie here. Give me a Pinkie Pie banner and we will take the left hand on it! Calm down. Well, he would see that later. Make your name. We'll help you every step of the way. Because we know what you need to do, and you should know it too. It's gonna work. I know it's gonna work. It's gonna work out just fine. Trust me. It's gonna work. I swear it's gonna work. It's gonna work out just fine. You'll No. Oh, the day is almost over, and we haven't found any ponies. What will we do? Try harder. Billy's Head Jungle Coast. Check out the super stupendous and amazing cuisine of the Tasty Treat. Win! If I don't like the food, I do might have win it. If you know that. Oh, oh, hey! No hooves yet, but hopefully... Raven? Well, when it gets raided, let us know. Oh, I hate those type of ponies! Oh, look 
Oh my god, Tolis. We came to Canterlot from Minneapolis to be adventurous. Minneapolis. So far, the food in all these hoity-toity places tastes like some pony cooked up nothing with a side of nothing. Well, please come try the tasty treat. I think it's going to be exactly what. Well, it is done. Ruin everything. Sorry, Rudy, but you are in the wrong here. Totally. Rarity, oh. what did you do? Welcome to the tasty treat. You can eat here if you want, or not. Who cares? I know. Isn't it perfect? Zesty is sure to love it. <sighs> we were trying to make this the most unique and beautiful restaurant in Canterlot. Not make it exactly like every other restaurant. Oh, we want to help our friends by getting them three hooves. That will only happen if this is like every other restaurant. You don't bother. They have to be unique. Not that This is what we must cook if we want to succeed here. This isn't what I wanted. I wanted Gantelot to like us for us. Rarity, how could you ruin the restaurant? Oh, we've helped save the restaurant. Now, where are the other guests? How many other ponies are coming? Two. Just two? I thought you said you could pack a place with ponies no matter what. You said you would make the restaurant better, so I guess we both didn't know what we were talking about! <gasps> Let's see your mind! Send your pony. So, is it a he or she? I hardly think it Female. Is, but by all means, try your best to impress. I don't buy it. You are stand up on me. Hey, Maybe with a little kick to it, eh? Yeah, we've been craving some food with actual. Okay, I'll get it in a minute. Um, can it wait? Is everything okay? I'm trying to save our reputations. I've given it at least a little bit of flavor. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm retorting right now, so we can talk about it later. Okay. I'm taking this out there! No! Zesty won't hate it! You are going to ruin this for them! No! I'm trying to fix it after you ruined it! No! Where did you go, Rarity? Well... When it comes to fashion, you are adequate. But take some advice from a friend. Keep your opinions out of restaurants, substandard food, laughable service, and I would think even you could recognize that the decor here is trying desperately, while desperately failing. Recommending a disreputable place such as this could do serious damage to your social standing. Thank you. Give me the place with food that actually Good? Any pony can throw ingredients together and create an obvious taste that uncultured ponies like those... Why are her eyebrows hey. not black? But it takes a true culinary artist to create a subtle taste. The barest hint of a sensation. That's what I bring to Canterlot. That's art. I don't know that there are words to adequately express how truly sorry we are. The worst has happened. No use crying over spilled food now. What is this pretty much? This always cheered me up when I was younger. <gasps> My spicy flat noodle soup. Oh, oh my. This is truly delightful. Mm, this is the best thing you've made so far. And I thought the food before was the best. That's all I've ever wanted to do, Father. Make food for the ponies of Canterlot, like the food we made together when I was younger. It has been so long since we cooked together. <laughs> Remember how you used to hide the ingredients you did not like? <laughs> <laughs> no. That has been a fun time. 
Acorn thinks of the food here. It's exquisite. That's true. And you don't need three silly hooves in your window to prove it. That's double true. Way to go, Wendy. You're the only one. Fucking loads. And what about us? You two? You are going to cook. Make whatever you want and make a lot of it. I intend to bring a crown. Yes. Who's the owner of one of the premier boutiques in Cantalot? Put a stamp of approval. Let me guess. They all know worthy and they are fussing worthy. So why is it looking for worthy and not and not for thinking? Is it just because every pony knows her from her boutique? Oh my god, fancy pants! That's probably why. Fancy pants probably still talks about Rarity. But he did fancy pants! He did get you more deaths than possible! You'll be so there for two weeks if you have him there! So Most important pony in Tantalite? Yeah, that would work! Something we used to love to do together. No matter what happens next, thank you for reminding us of that. Oh, you guys! Five best that males on the show back there. Now come on, we've got a party to throw! Oh my god! Oh my god! Timio! Oh sweet god! Yep, there she is. It's funny! I mentioned that dad earlier, and he bloody has a pony counterpart. What is every pony doing here? This place has no hooves! It is not in keeping with the level of cuisine, that's all! Where is he? Where is he? I don't see him anymore. She's a new... So-so. Rarity and her friends said it was good? They told us! They told you? And who are they? Who is that down with a face over here? On it's elective? Probably not. Shirts. Her friend can tell you how to maintain a tragic look for a pretty maid. They can't tell you what food you can eat! No, we can't. And neither can you. No pony has the right to tell these ponies what to think. Zesty, you have very specific and very strange. You said very strange opinions about food. And that's your right. Just because you like your food a certain way, there is no reason to tell these ponies that they need to do the same. Rarity and that's what the food kid has to do. The food here is delicious. I own the smoked oat on Restaurant Row. I hate the food we make. From now on, it's all smoked, basted, and grilled. This food is an inspiration. I own the bake stock. I'm going to bake my mother's bud cake the way she made it. Full of flavor. <laughs> Zesty, are you sure you wouldn't like to try the food? Ignoring a unique and fresh establishment such as this could do serious damage to your social standing. Well, she's ruined. Thank you so much. That food credit is ruined forever. If we do a feel much better food credit. Huh, that is what they needed to do. Hmm. That's good. But what happens? Are they still gonna get free clues from another food credit? I don't know. This was a good episode. <laughs> yeah, this was a good episode. Ah, let me stop by saying... Oh, where is he? See, if I'm making the restaurant as savvy like every other restaurant. And that was a stupid. 
I'm not gonna hop on it because she did know it. that was wrong. But she really should have known better. Seriously, where are the... I don't know what they're talking about. Anyways, this was a okay episode, and that food credit. Who is that standard man? She should be fired. That like I said earlier, a food credit cannot be fired. They have to accept other foods, even if they don't immediately like them. Because if they only like certain foods in a certain way, and if they wait what's once on their opinions, and their opinion alone, then they aren't food critics. A food critic has to be open-minded, willing to accept new foods. You have to taste usually almost everything a restaurant has. You have to wait what they serve. And, yeah, it's going to depend on their actual taste, the taste buds taste. But they still have to wait the food for the food, not for what they want the food to be. And I'm pretty sure she is gonna get fired. Ugh. She reminded me of a couple other characters too, from Toy the Tallery Doll and from Bunchbob and Toys. Do you ever remember that show, Toys the Tallery Doll? <laughs> Good times. Anyways, this episode, there was interesting about the map. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. How exactly do the main stage know what the map wants them to do? I mean, I think you got a hint of this that season, but what happens if they find a problem that they think is what the map wanted them to fix? But they've been sort of fixing that problem, so to find out, it's not what they were supposed to do. How exactly are they supposed to know which problem they are supposed to fix? Because what if they encounter two friendship problems, and only one of them is what the map wanted them to do? They're not going to know which one to do, they just have to find and fix both of them. It would have helped if the map with a lifted tuning marks up when they're on the right flat. But they don't know if it's the right problem until the map says, Oh, you're done, what are you doing now? We turn home. For tomorrow we go on another adventure. <laughs> <coughs> Mouth. <laughs> that Timio. This is the Tammy that I was talking about. My God. I want an episode around him. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, this is... Oh, but still 49 minutes. Almost. <laughs> it was interesting that they fit the map. 12 episodes in. This time the map better pay off. Because seriously, last season, the map episodes were 100% useless. But maybe this season will bring those episodes back and make them mean something. Because what the point of, you know, going on the map of answers, fixing problems, making new friends, if nothing's gonna come from it? Maybe they're gonna fix that in this season. And if Thorlight is told by the map, I would be freaking surprised. <laughs> it was glitching out, and it's and it was saying Twilight and Twilight go here. It shows Twilight's twenty more fries. For shadowing, for dot Twilight character. No, I'm just thinking. <laughs> oh dear, there's one fan character, an evil Twilight. I don't know if I pronounced her name right. Fivevine? This character. This would be awesome to have in the show, but I don't think they will. 
Maybe we can hope. <laughs> but yeah. It would be funny if the map was to us out and they had to spend an entire episode trying to fix it. And we get more of what I didn't thought I'd get it. Zola is going to be tested in the season finale. I'm saying it now. It would be interesting if she takes over Flylight's role as the main, main character. That would actually be a good setup for season 6, but... As some people keep saying, Generation 6 has to be a reboot. It did not have the same animation style, it did not have the same as that characters of story lines. It has to be 100% new. I say F to that. Uh, anyways, this was a good episode. I'm not really much into, you know, that type of food. I am um, not the type of person that has on food opinions. So, yeah, I don't have a very wise head of taste. So, I cannot feel, I cannot be a food critic. <laughs> anyways, Apple Deet, The Feast 2, I look forward to your yet watches. And anybody else who might be yet watching this. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to turn this off and play some Mass Effect 2. <laughs> yeah. Mass Effect 2. If I had to need the DLC. One day. And maybe one day Lightning does it. So I am not letting that go. I want Lightning does to be back. I want her to redeem herself. I want her back. Darn it all. <laughs> Hey, you're the team bad after four seasons. A fan can hope. A fan can hope. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Till then, see ya. Thank you for watching.